Hey Aquarius, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, Aquarius. It is always greatly appreciated. Uh, so quick announcement, you guys. Patreon is now live. Pure Black Magic is now live on Patreon. So the weeklies are being uploaded there. Um, the full entire videos of the weeklies as well as bonus posts, different perks, different tiers for you guys to enjoy. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. Um, and if you are interested in booking a private session, that information is in the description box as well. Okay. So Aquarius, let's get to it. It feels very much so like the month of October, somebody um, is struggling to get over you, okay, or to move on or to not think about you or let go of the thought of you um, or someone struggling in regards to like the distance that's been created between the two of you guys, whether this has already happened or it's happening in the month of October. Um, two songs I got for you guys. The first one was called Irresponsible by Kiana Lede. And the second one was called, um, it was by Young Blue and Nicki Minaj and it was called Love in the Way. Love in the Way. And it talked about, you know, Irresponsible talked about how somebody, you know, just did not handle this. Someone didn't handle you well. Okay. And the song, the energy of like a person, you know, being in a relationship, giving somebody their all, their loyalty, etc. Um, and it was fumbled. It was mishandled. It wasn't appreciated. It was taken advantage of, even if it's not necessarily romance, it can be any type of relationship in your life, Aquarius. Um, but it is giving a lot of those vibes. And then with love in the way, it's like this person, whoever may have taken advantage of you, like they cannot not think about you. They cannot not think about what they did to you, how they messed things up, how they may have uh, wronged you or betrayed you. Like they cannot move on or somebody could be cycling back to you because they may have tried to move on, okay, or forget about you or they thought the grass was green on the other side and they cannot move forward. Like your love is in the way, your face, your image, your energies, something about you is all over this person or haunting October, right? Haunting this person in the month of October, Aquarius, like it is heavy. They got it real bad for you. So, um, you know, it's going to be different for everybody if you're open to this energy or not, but that's what's coming through. We are going to go ahead and hop into the messages to see what else comes out, you guys. If you have not already, please like the video, comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact with content here on the channel, the more it actually puts your energy into these messages, Aquarius or Cross Watcher, and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. All right, so starting off with some oracle cards, we have the Moonology deck and it says expect a powerful change. And it feels like, I mean, it feels like this is in regards to someone else. I feel like I would be picking up on like cross watchers energy or whoever's um, on the, up, the opposite end of this Aquarius, but stay with me. So many messages for everybody involved. Um, but I feel like this person has changed. Okay, somebody has changed because of you. Or, you know, it's like on different levels, maybe mentally, maybe emotionally, maybe like uh, they're going through some sort of karma, like the universe is knocking them on their ass or like they really realizing that they had it good with you. They shouldn't have done that, said that, something like that. Um, it's, something's happening to spark a change in this person. This could also, of course, be a very powerful change that's happening for you. Some goodness, greatness, abundance that's coming in for you in the month of October. At the bottom, we have hold your vision, Okay. And it kind of feels like hold your vision, like keep, I'm getting keep hope alive or staying optimistic or something may not be um, completely like maybe over or at, or lost. Okay. Something like that Aquarius is significant here. Um, and it, it feels like it's related to something that you want, you desire something that you're emotionally tied to or someone um, the shift is happening. Something's happening for you, not to you, before you in the month of October. Behind that, we have a new romantic uh, cycle begin. So this could be completely new or a renewed. It's given a lot of reconciliation, renewed energy, or just, um, you know, having some sort of common understanding between you and someone else. You are good enough. Step out of your comfort zone. Okay. Adjustments are required and give, time to give rather than to take. Um, also too, it's like withhold your vision. I kind of feel like you guys 
for some of y'all, it's like you are feeling tempted or you are triggered, but I feel like you need to stick to what you said, what you decided, like stand firm in your beliefs or whatever this is. If you've already like said something, decided on something, hope, stand firm in regards to that. Um, or that's, that's what you are, what you have been doing. That is what you are doing. And I feel like something about like respect for yourself, boundaries, like not allowing people to just kind of like do whatever, say whatever, something about, um, the loyalty that you have to yourself. I feel like it's bringing forth some sort of change within yourself and within someone else. Okay. So, oh, we Aquarius, it feels intense. It's honestly been intense for all of the signs that I've done so far. And I have completed Libra, Taurus and Capricorn and now you. So let's see what the psychic Oracle deck has to say uh memories of love i felt the need to say all of those signs so maybe you have those signs uh, majorly aspected in your chart maybe those signs are involved but memories of love is showing up here and i feel like somebody is like nostalgic over you this could also be you you know thinking about good times reminiscing on a, a past uh situation with somebody fulfillment and wishes choose wisely a firm foundation i kind of feel like you're you're really trying to not allow your emotions to get to best the best of you aquarius you're trying to make you know um head over heart decisions be very logical um in regards to whatever's going on in the month of october but i i see you um i see you contemplating or entertaining the idea of the past here okay For, especially with firm foundation spiritual union disruption universe prosperity begins it definitely feels like someone's going through some sort of karma here it feels also like some sort of foundation is being broken down or it's already been broken down or it has to be broken down like some sort of blockage here or somebody that's blocked if you're seeking a new beginning in a certain area of your life relationship somebody else whatever this is um this person this person needs to remove the blockage or go through some sort of healing, some sort of change, some sort of ego death, something like that. And I feel like something about spirit is working on this person. Now, whether you are still interested in this energy or not, okay, like if this is a past energy or even this is somebody that's currently in your life, regardless of, you know, how things are going between you and this person there's some work that's being done on this person that you know nothing about and it is very karmic it is very spiritual or you may be aware of it um but somebody's like being forced to change here prosperity begins passion ignited heart chakra and there's also the the feeling of like you going through some sort of like harsh change okay a big transformation it's like you're something about um Something about you being broken down. And I feel like the broken down energy is behind you. So something completely broke you, shattered you. Um, something like really disturbed your peace here. And it feels like you're getting that, you're getting your happiness back or you're getting some sort of spark back. Um, and it kind of, I don't know, it's, I'm picking up a lot of different energies. It could be like you really... Um, you're on the upper end of the energy of karma and somebody else is going through what they put you through for some of y'all it's, it's heavy karma that's playing out so positive movement forward let's see capricorn heavily had that energy so you'd be dealing with one emotional loss clarity confirmation for my aquarius holy spirit the month of october what is it that they need to know clarity confirmation for aquarius let's see all right, so you got two, fulfillment and wishes and stand your ground. And what I say, like hold your vision. So this is you not letting up, not letting up on you, on what you want, what you deserve, how you deserve to be treated, a dream, a goal, your happiness. Like this is you protecting your peace of mind at all costs, your healing, your heart at all costs. Okay, wisdom, you know better. I feel like you've learned a very, um, a very tough lesson Aquarius and it, it feels like it may be in regards to you like being overly giving or nurturing to others um versus like not equally doing so to yourself or giving to others that may not um may not it's like it's not equally yoked like overdoing your part here I feel like you've learned or you're learning how to like um preserve your energy your time what you have to offer how to only exchange it with others who deserve it etc here wisdom card Taurus could be significant we also have the waiting game 
new beginnings, okay, victory and success, positive movement forward. There is somebody who may want you to wait on them or something like that, Aquarius. And I feel like a lot of you guys are making decisions to move forward, okay? Or you've been waiting for the okay to like proceed or to move or to start a new chapter or a new something here. And I feel like you're getting that clarity, that confirmation in October, especially with this truth card. Yeah, power. Um, it's like you realize you, you're realizing you never needed a certain person or certain relationships. Definitely giving uh, Capricorn vibes a little bit. Triumphant success. Yeah, it's like a breakthrough that's coming that's coming in. The truth is the Libra uh, energy. Something about balance, accountability. You're seeing the truth in yourself or a particular situation or a person here, Aquarius. Um, so yeah, let's see. Some of y'all could be dealing with like a Libra. Or you have it in your chart, or again, it's the heavy energy of like judgment and justice that's playing out for you, that's really working in your favor. It's something that like it was only a matter of time, or like I like I'm picturing the scales or the wheel of fortune, and it feels like you're on the upper hand of something in regards to a situation that involves you and someone else. Okay. Or even if this is just personal to yourself, it's something about like a harvest season or reaping um reaping what you've sown some sort of benefits you're getting something here something's being replenished in your life in the month of october all right so let's see aquarius five of cups is at the bottom five of swords double fives may could be significant may 5th the taurus could be significant ace of wands king of pentacles i feel like y'all are missing someone but you may refuse to like take action towards this person you're just focusing on yourself right now there is definitely the energy of you missing someone but not allowing that to be a distraction or somebody missing you um and you not allowing them to be a distraction okay for what you need to focus on right now let's see clarity confirmation Clarity confirmation for the Aquarius Holy Spirit. Four cups. Like somebody is really in their, yeah, it's really in their emotion. Five of swords when it comes to you. Or somebody feels really bad about how they treated you. Like somebody is, it just feels like they're being haunted by um, their own behaviors, their own actions here. And it may just be tailored to you, Aquarius. It could be tailored to you and just, you know, other people in their lives as well. All right, it's something about you sparking a change or being a catalyst, a catalyst to force this person um, to see the inner, to see the things that they need to deal with, inner demons, inner conflict, or how they have been difficult in certain areas of their life. Ace of Wands, clarity confirmation for Aquarius. What's going on in the month of October, Holy Spirit? What is it that the aquarius collective needs to know for the month of october a couple of more shuffles all right ready to talk somebody could definitely be ready to talk to you um ready to get back in your energy somebody it's like heavy reconciliation six of swords and the six of cups let's see and the five of cups aquarius i see you feeling something for a particular situation or a person like remorse or missing them or just you know wishful thinking or something like that you could be wishing something could be different but you just know right now it's not the time or you just know it will never happen or you just know it's not good for you or something like that for the time frame of october let's see what's at the bottom the ace of swords the star card here you go showing up the magician virgo gemini energy um, the Knight of Cups, the Four of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Tower, Eight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like um, somebody has something to say to you. This is also clarity. This is truth. There's something happening to, because um, I keep hearing karmic or picking up on karmic energy. What's the, like a karmic lesson here? Or this could be somebody that's like, you know, you have a strong attachment to it. Could be like a soulmate for you, Aquarius. Um, I don't know that you're parting ways with or you already have. And for some reason, like you're really in your emotions about it in the month of October. I'm hearing um, Say Goodbye by Chris Brown. That could be significant for some of you guys. What's the Ace of Swords? Or it's something that you guys are moving on. It's like 
some of y'all feel sad because it's like, I don't know, like you've worked at a job for 20 years. There's something or you've lived in this house for so long or you've been friends with this person and they're moving away or you're moving away or, you know, you just outgrown somebody here, regardless of whatever role they play in your life, you've outgrown something. And it, it kind of feels like it may be bittersweet for some of you guys, or it's just really hard for you to let go of the idea of something or the reality of something, but you know you need to to move forward. What's the Ace of Swords? Clarity confirmation. What's the Ace of Swords? The Page of Swords. A lot of air energy showing up. The Chariot. And the Temperance. I feel like somebody is expressing their desire to like move forward with you okay or have some sort of um some sort of connection going on with you some sort of contract here the temperance card some sort of balance somebody could definitely be like moving what's this chair and yeah the king of cups could be a water sign could be a gemini ten of swords this is definitely somebody who has wronged you three of pentacles the star card, three of cups, but now they want to make up or like now somebody, um, I don't know, somebody, you could be like running to running into an old person or rekindling with an old energy. Somebody you haven't really been on a good accord with, or you haven't seen in a long time, talked to in a long time. And I feel like this person is almost like falling in love with you all over again, or something about love at first sight is very significant too, especially if you're dealing with a water sign um cancer all of them are popping out here cancer pisces scorpio what's this chariot card clarity confirmation from our aquarius holy spirit for the month of october what's this chariot card like somebody i kind of feel like it's i don't know let me see six of wands you got sixes popping up here three six 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 showing up seven of wands page of pentacles I see you just being very guarded, okay, or very protective of this newness that you're embarking on. Or you're just very distant or very guarded, very not open to like starting up something new with someone here. Or if you've had like some sort of um, reservations in regards to taking a new direction, um, or stepping outside of your comfort zone in any way, Aquarius, I feel like that's clearing up. What's the Six of Swords? Clarity confirmation. What's the Six of Swords for Aquarius Spirit? So we got the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Cups. Yeah, it's like, I feel like you're needing to like have this boundary or you're just very closed off, maybe to love in general or to whoever, whatever this is right now, because this is your energy showing up here. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, it's Earth energy, but I feel like this is how you're viewing whoever this is. It could just be a little too late. Okay, you're just not buying whatever this person is like telling you, presenting to you, Aquarius. Ten of Wands. It's a lot to do with family, home, okay? Legacy, kids, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. It could be like a huge apology or I'm sorry here. Eight of Cups, the Emperor card. Somebody has definitely been like, stripped of their ego five of swords seven of cups okay or somebody like they really even if they haven't said it to you yet aquarius like they really regret going about a certain situation like somebody like, really feels bad here what's the six of cups somebody is realizing what they lost or they will what's the six of cups the eight of cups the six of pentacles Somebody feels like they could have done more. Maybe you feel like you could have done more in a situation, Aquarius, or definitely someone feels like this in regards to you. The Six of Cups with the Two of Cups. It's a lot of romantic uh, energy here. It's a lot of soulmate energy here. Like somebody feels like they're, somebody could be actually missing a best friend or a close person in their life or a soulmate. It kind of, something about a best friend or something about a male, female, best friend dynamic is significant here. A higher fan of Taurus, Scorpio could be significant, Four of Cups. Or for somebody, it's like, it's a weird situation where somebody's friend feels left out because the other friend is like in a relationship or something like that. Somebody may feel like they lost a good friend or a best friend to like to their relationship or something here. What's the two, What's the Five of Cups? 
What's the Five of Cups? Clarity confirmation for my Aquarius, Holy Spirit. What's the Five of Cups? But I keep getting like you getting um, something's being restored or replenished here. Something's being given back. Something about companionship. Or if some of you guys, some of y'all might be mourning the loss of somebody or if you have like something about losing somebody in your life and not to say that someone will replace this person, but there's there's the energy of like uh, a very positive somebody giving you hope here or reminding you of somebody that you lost that's showing up. Okay, there could be some sort of like anniversary date. This could be you grieving over someone that has passed already or a certain date or something like that or something about an anniversary is significant in october what's the five of cups for my aquarius holy spirit let's see five of swords all these fives popping out the ace of cups the queen of swords and the five of swords yeah, like somebody knows that they deserve whatever this is that they have coming, whether it's you not being open to communicating, whatever karma that they're getting, like somebody knows they deserve. And it's very much so given, uh, who is it, Jaheen? Who is it? Maybe I deserve. Let me Google it really quickly. Like somebody is really soaking in the energy. Maybe I deserve by tank. Okay, by tank. That's what it's giving. Um, Page of Wands, Eight of Swords, Four of Wands, King of Wands. Like some of y'all could also just like tell somebody something that they don't want to hear. And it's just your per personal preference is just how you feel about it. Hermit card, Seven of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Could be dealing with the uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius. We're going to pull some Wisdom Oracle cards to wrap up the message for you guys. The message. Message in the bottle at the bottom. Co-create. Imagine. I feel like somebody is trying to like convince you of something or restore your hope. Okay. Um, thinker. A leg up. Clean it up. By the book. Observer. It's definitely like a lot of attention on you, Aquarius. Let's see. Let's chop wood. Somebody wants to write some sort of wrongs here. Chaos and conflict. Orphan. Okay. Or somebody just might be really needing your help. Realizing how supportive you were. How much of like a good thing you were in, in their life. Clarity confirmation. Or this is you missing somebody. Whether it's whoever this is for you. Um... Friend, ex-friend, lover, ex-lover, loved one, passed on loved one, whatever it is, to the sea. Um, whoever, whomever it is. I'm sorry, Aquarius. To the sea, blessed, and TikTok. I feel like you're chilling though. I don't really feel like you're worried. It feels like somebody else is more so worried about holding on to you or their position with you or your disposition towards them. You're in this blessed energy, okay? You're in this healing energy. You're in this energy of gaining clarity, insight, being balanced, Aquarius. So hold on to that in the month of October. It might be a lot going on. It has your emotions all over the place, but stay grounded, okay? Just allow the energy to pass. And then we have no place like home. Yeah, somebody is definitely wanting to come home. Um, it's the energy of missing. You could be missing home or missing like your children or something like that. Uh, chaos and conflict and time to go. And I feel like it's something about you like opening up to the idea of new. Maybe you've never thought that it's like maybe you never thought you never saw yourself in a different position without this person you never saw yourself outside of this job or whatever this is it's like you're moving on from something with peace or you're just very content and at peace with how things are going right now um and that's all you could ask for Aquarius so I'm gonna leave it here leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and I will talk to you guys soon